Today, we're going to demonstrate the different types of faults using these fault blocks. This is the hanging wall. You can tell it's the hanging wall because if I were to grab on to the top of this, I could hang from it. There's not a lot of rock at the bottom. It's thinner on the bottom of a hanging wall than at the top. So if you just can think, if you can hang from it, it's the hanging wall. Let me go get the foot wall now. This is called the foot wall. The reason is, is because there is more rock at the bottom and it gets thinner as it goes to the top. Now let's bring them together. And therefore we have the hanging wall over on this side and the foot wall on this side. Now this is very important to be able to tell what type of fault line it is. Imagine this foot wall as a slide. If the hanging wall goes down the slide, that is the normal way you go down a slide. Therefore, it is a normal fault. If that river kept flowing from the right side of the screen to the left, it would flow down the foot wall and hit the hanging wall, which would form a waterfall feature. If it goes up a slide, then that is a reverse fault because that is the reverse way to use a slide. Notice that the river is still flowing from the right side to the left. That river would flow and then hit the hanging wall and form a lake or a pond. If the plates move past each other, we call that a strike slip fault. You can see how these rivers are no longer connected. Over time, these rivers would slowly change shape and eventually reconnect.